Severe heat waves are happening more often. In the US, their frequency has increased, from about two heat waves per year during the 1960s to half a dozen per year during the 2010s and 2020s. In 2003, Europe saw its hottest summer since the year 1540. More than 70,000 people died due to the heat. They were mostly older people. So, how hot is too hot? Studies show you can't consider temperature alone. You have to consider temperature plus humidity. When the body can't cool itself, you might get heat exhaustion or heat stroke. You might even die. That's why experts are now speaking of wet bulb temperatures, a measurement combining both heat and humidity. How hot is too hot? In 2010, a study suggested 50% humidity at 115 degrees Fahrenheit, over 6 hours, as a critical threshold. But a more recent study, in 2022, suggested a critical threshold of 50% humidity at 103 degrees Fahrenheit. Either way, in some places, we're dangerously close to critical thresholds already. Here's a recent heat-humidity combo in Earth Sky's hometown of Austin, Texas. So if you find yourself in a heat wave, and the heat is near a critical threshold for heat and humidity, don't try to tough it out during a power outage. Look around in advance to see if your city has cooling centers. And consider going there if your power goes out, in a heat wave. Or plan in advance to stay with friends or family who have a generator in their home, or another way to cool their home. If you find yourself in a heat wave, drink lots of fluids. Stay out of the sun. And seek help if needed. And, by the way, it's true older people are more vulnerable. But studies show that even young, healthy people are at risk during heat waves. We're Earth Sky. Thanks for joining us and stay safe.